Uh, shalom, shalom. So give an all praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Raka Kodash, or uh, other city, the double other city apostles and elders of GMS, other city at Kemode. You know, peace and blessings to the people for the link. So shalom. Um, well, um, just want to do a, 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 a quick lesson to go into about three or four precepts you know concerning what happened to the well to the island of Trinidad yesterday being that it was hit with a, a earthquake you know a 7.3 if I'm corrected you know earthquake and it's really the will of the heavenly father at the end of the day well the judgment of the heavenly father you know and um I know some brothers already put up videos about it, but you know, this is my two cents in it is that we really are the last. You know, even your house, I said it best. We are at the last because we shall see signs and wonders. And you know, um, we get into the precepts just now, but that's seeing, seeing everything played off yesterday and how, the, how great the most I work is and how terrible. The most high judgment can be. You really had to be really humble and pray. It's all about being faithful and about prayers right now because we are the last. And these people not ready. They're not spiritually ready. They're not even physically ready to to actually withstand what actually coming. You know, because here here we had a, a little earthquake with such 7.3. I think the magnitude was and and people start to freak out you know people start to freak out they don't know what to do they're actually running here and there and you know we here at GMS Trinidad we was actually praising you how about some shy during the time we was actually praying we are actually praising you how about some shy because we actually wanted the disaster more because this is the signs this is one of the signs and wonders that we are at the end we are at the end we it have no more five years and six years after this from from now you know and anybody who actually preaching that or anybody who actually trying to to uplift this kingdom they have to run away from that person that was not what the fuck they're talking about because we are the end you know start with the um the first the first piece that we're going to is look look 21 verse 10 and this is your house i actually talking this is look chapter 21 verse 10 he said then said he unto them nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and we actually see that on the news all these trade wars what actually going on and the scripture said if if satan be against satan you know the, the kingdom shall not stand you know that's roughly paraphrasing because we are at the end we are in the time and at the turn to um the toes you know, we, nation shall rise against nation we have a trade war going on and everyone knows that after a trade war is the physical war because our trade was actually it, 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 um, it escalates to, uh, to the real war and you see these other nations actually gain up. These other actually these other nations actually gain up for war. For war Armageddon, they just call it. But we know that is your the most high judgment. So that's why we say because we really can't wait for that. You know? Luke 21, verse 11 and great earthquakes 
so I'll be in diverse places like yeah, it can like yesterday because yesterday here that everyone was actually going about their business as usual and you know and, and this and the small little well the small land of China that was rocked by a 7.3 earthquake so imagine the earthquakes what will happen when these nuclear missiles actually push off you know when the Mosai actually come and send his judgment upon the land now we have to actually pray and hope that you know we escape that judgment you know because here we had people freaking out yesterday yesterday people actually freaking out they don't know what to do And then after they start to talk, I said a madness about a nationwide prayer. What the fuck are we talking about a nationwide prayer? Death and destruction to this kingdom. You know? Luke chapter 22, verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence, and fearful sights and great signs shall be there from heaven. I you know and brothers actually seeing sightings of of the chariots, you know. Which is which is actually a great sign. You know, which is actually a great, great, great sign. You know. And when the scripture says fearful sights, it's actually fearful to, to these other nations. And the tutors of our, our people but these chariots are, are are really you know the salvation for the elect so that's why we get a joy when we see chariots you know especially myself i should say i get a joy in seeing chariots you know but then again i'm um, fearful sights you know earthquakes earthquakes is a fearful sight the destruction what an earthquake can can do no, uh, not, no one can actually stand that earthquake. Nothing can really stand up that earthquake. You know, and that is part of the, pa the power of the Heavenly Father. That is a minor piece to the power of the Heavenly Father. So, earthquake in diverse places. And when you watch news, worldwide news, other countries actually being hit with earthquakes too. Not just Trinidad, but Venezuela, you know. Was hit with the same earthquake and different parts of the globe. All you have to do is research it. So that's why we know that we are the end. This is a house I speak in here. Luke 21, verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence. Yeah, famines that have real famines going on worldwide, and it's not actually being broadcast. And the news because the devil control the media but it have famine worldwide worldwide famine actually going on right now people starving right now but it, 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 they're not bringing it on the sea and they're not bringing it to the forefront i should say to actually warn the people so the people will be in the know because this, this devil control the media And fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven you know and that that actually links up with i think it's second it's just chapter 9 verse 1 can this is second it's just chapter 9 verse 1 he said he answered that he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and that will be doing the, the men of the mosai will actually measure the time diligently because we're not we're not really in a time of, of, of um of, of, of being so um glad i should say we're in a time of sorrow we're in a time of lamentation so that's what, that's what our mindset is supposed to be you know we we, we in the sign of we are um, we not we need timing of actually repentance i should say trying to please the heavenly father trying to make that right because death and, death and destruction is at hand. We are in the time of death and destruction. 
It have nothing to be glad here about. And we measure the time through the prophecies. Prophecies being fulfilled. 2018 declared the year of prophecy. And prophecies being fulfilled. You know, just like the trade wars, the trade wars and stuff. You know, nation rising against nation. Prophecies. If you have the spiritual eyes to see it, the most I actually bless you with the spiritual eyes to see it. So what then? Hold on to this truth till then. You know? Second Esther chapter 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, and part of the signs pass, earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes in diverse places, nation riding against nation. The end, we are at the end. You know, then thou shalt then shall thou understand. And it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And brothers actually see in sightings of, of chariots. You know, and the presence of the Mosai, it's it's so strong that hey, it could actually cause earthquakes. You know, Second Ezra nine verse three. They therefore, when 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 there shall be seen earthquakes, earthquakes, straight to the point. Second Ezra nine verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. As I say again. They're not broadcasting these things on the news. They're not broad broadcasting, you know, the famines, what's actually going on in these countries. Even in America, it's a famine going on in America. But they have to have the spiritual eyes to actually see, see what's going on. Because here they actually, the, the, the soya are a, a, a lavish kingdom. But when they watch deep inside, it means people actually starving in America. And not only in America, worldwide. But they're not bringing this thing, they're not bringing it on the news, they, they're not bringing it on the forefront. Because again, Esau actually controls the media. You know? Second Ezra 9 verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars and of the of the people of the world, then shall then shall thou well understand, and I will understand. That is why we understand that this is the last. There is no five or six years after this. You know, the most are actually speeding up things. And that's why we're supposed to be um, being, being letting our light shine. We're supposed to be doing all day and preaching hard right now, you know? Because we, we know they're actually targeting us. Because some brothers will actually be put into prisons. You know, pursuing to revelation. So we actually know this is the last, and just now they be um they will be done they, they will done away of on YouTube. So right now we must work the work while it's day. The night fast approaching. When they see all these prophecies being fulfilled. We are, we are at the end. We are at the end. Ain't no five more years and six more years from now. We are at the end. This kingdom is about to fall. Second Ezra 9 verse 4. Then shall, then shall thou well understand that the Most High speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And I know and this kingdom has to fall. So all these things must come to pass. So the why the, the um Yahweh I said fret not or worry yourself not because these things must come to pass. They cannot stop the will of the Heavenly Father. You know.
second Ezra chapter 9 verse 5 for for like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and and an end and the end is manifest and the end is manifest to what to prophecies to the most high works actually being fulfilled and that is prophecies and that is and, and it's manifesting it is manifested in the end even think um the prophet habakkuk habakkuk speak about it will it will manifest at the end so that's why we know that we have the truth it's through the prophecies we know that we have the truth because the prophecies is on point you know hmm. now i'm going to go to verse 7 before i close off second Exodus 9 verse 7 and everyone that shall be saved which is a hope for the well, well well we know the elect is going to be saved so that why we say hope for the elect we, we hope that we are part of because that's it all we could do we could actually hope and pray that we are part of the elect because the elect was then already chosen but the most i actually said to give diligence and make a call in an election sure so we just hopeful we hopeful that why we say hope for the elect and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and that's what we're doing that's why we, that's why we push so hard because we know what is to come when i read second peter 3 seeing that all these things are supposed to come what manner am, are we supposed to be what mindset we supposed to have in all holy conversations so that's why we push the word we push the word so we can escape so we could be sealed with the word the word could consume us i should say we should act so so we could live the word and that the works the works the works were actually done on the streets alone the works actually done is a 24 hour job a 24 hour work to do the will of the most high to please the most high that is the work So don't feel that just because you go out there on the highways and byways, they're actually going to escape. No. Live in the scriptures. You know? And by faith, whereby we, we have believed because some brothers have no faith. Some brothers have no faith. And we here at GMS, we actually push that. We actually push faith. That's why we do, brother. That's why we do videos. We do plenty of videos so we can build each other faith. Because the time coming that hey, destruction is at hand. Destruction is fast approaching. And no man can actually stand up to that destruction unless the Heavenly Father be with him. So that's why we do these videos to actually build each other faith. That's why we call brothers. That's why we actually pray. Pray more. We fast more. Because we give up this world. When they come into this truth, they actually give up this world. Because it have nothing here for you. You was never sent on the side to prosper. And the more brothers actually think about that, is the more hardcore they will be to, towards this truth. You know? And I think I'll just leave it there. You know, hope this was edifying. It wasn't too long. You know, because on the job site right now, but I can't quench the Holy Spirit. So you know with that, it's a shallow one.